The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons, and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. It's better by the day. The, uh, <laughs> the apocalyptic, it's better by the day. Um, yes, again, it's, uh, it, it's really a matter of, of focus and Jesus giving us this, uh, this great opportunity to focus the church, uh, uh, giving us you know, strength of, of attention and will as we end, um, as we end the uh, liturgical year uh, this week. Um, yeah, we see, the, you know, there, there are these little paradoxes kind of baked in here uh, that, uh, that then necessitate some kind of exploration, uh, some kind of explanation. Uh, you see Jesus saying, you know, you will be handed over by, you know, all the people closest to you. You will be, you will be, uh, and, and they will put some of you to death. They will put some of you to death, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. So <laughs> this, what, does, what, does that, what does that mean? They're going to give you a haircut before, so you know, you, not a hair on your head will be destroyed. We'll keep that. You're going to die, but the rest, I don't know. No, there's, of course, there's, there's a, a better explanation than that, I think. Um, and that is that nothing that is given in the, in the cause of God is ultimately fruitless. And in fact, uh, the only, or perhaps it's better to say, the, the most fruitful things we do in life are those done in the cause of God. And the, the more we're able to do, the more fruitful those things are. And I'd say not the more we're able to do, um, the, the, more, the things done with more purity are, uh, ha- have more impact. So, uh, I mean, we're, this week seems like, you know, I'm wearing red every day, right? So it's, there is also this, uh, this kind of, I don't know if it's thematic or it's it's just a it's a it's a it's um it's a matter of providence of God to have these to have so many of these celebrations of of the martyrs towards the end of the litur- the liturgical year, uh, but really how profound is the martyrs all in on God? Like it's it's not so much we're we're celebrating not so much the death right like that the moment of death of the particular martyrs. We're celebrating the victory of life faced with death. Facing, we're, we're, what we're looking at is the victory of, of faith, of entrusting oneself to God with such um, purity, intention, and the rest, that, that even death does not destroy the witness. In fact, the opposite. Death only amplifies the witness of the person who is totally committed to God. Now, it's, I don't know, I, I would hope to some extent, of course, that, that we're not going to be faced with martyrdom ourselves. I'm, I'm not sure, yeah, it's hard to say that actually, so I'm not going to say, I'm not sure, um, I'm not going to wish death on any of you, okay, so we, we can start from there and probably build out, but, but each and every one of us has to die every single day. Because we, because we have to die to our own plans, dreams, and desires. We have to die to uh, the, the allure of the enemy, right? So this is the world, the flesh, and the devil, of which I'd say probably the flesh is, I don't know, the, the biggest corrupting influence. The world sometimes is just a distraction, but sure, the, the world and, and the allures of, of, of the world are, are significant. We have to die to the world, the flesh, and the devil. And we, and we have to live totally for God. And we do it in, we do it in Christ Jesus. 
But it, to, to say like every aspect of, of, our, of our life, every aspect of, of our heart has to be given over to God. And, uh, and we here, you know, to come to celebrate Mass, we're, we're dedicating ourselves to God and His purposes. We're offering ourselves through and with and in Jesus to God, the Father Almighty, uh, who then liberates us for mission so that we can, we can make of our lives or He can make of our lives an outpouring of grace, an outpouring of favor, an outpouring of blessing, of, of love, of mercy, of compassion for his world. Yeah, and um, we, I don't know, we, we sometimes struggle to, to live into that. I mean, this is, this is the point of, of sainthood. This is what sainthood is, is to, li is to live into that reality, is to live into the reality of, of my whole life, my heart and my life, everything I am and everything I have dedicated to God and used totally for His purposes. That's what I mean by purity, by the way. Yeah, is to total dedication to God, total devotion, sincere devotion, love, commitment, right? Oh, I, well, I guess you don't need a thesaurus. I, you get a thesaurus at home maybe or on your phone at least so you can look up all the different ones. But, um, but this is it. This is, what we're, this is what we're here to do. And there has to be this relationship between prayer and love. There has to be a relationship between our offering, our worship, right? what we're doing here now, our worship, and our lives of service. There has to be, or it's dead, the, the whole thing. Right? If, we don't have the, if we don't have the dedication to God, the worship, the whatever, then we don't, we don't have the force of, or even the ability to live lives of love and of service, especially to him in the world. We don't have it. And if we don't allow this, what we're doing here, the worship, to take over our hearts and, and uh, allow, uh, allow God to, to have us live out that, that dedication to him in the world, if, our, if this, if our worship doesn't result in uh, lives of service to him, then also our worship is phony. It's not, it's, not, um, it's not doing what God intends it to do. It's not changing our heart. It's not drawing us into God's story where he, yes, he wants to renew his people, but he wants to renew his people for his purposes so that they could be about the work of the restoration of the world. So this is, this is it, okay? This is, this is a story, and today, again, uh, whether it's, whether it's the, the passage here, which is to say, go all in on God, and you have nothing to worry about. Go in, when you go all in on God, you lose nothing, and you gain everything. It's these, you know, hedging our bets that's actually a bigger problem, because what we don't give to God is, is ultimately burned up. So, you know, and as we celebrate the, the martyrs as well, that's the same encouragement. But this is what it means to go all We have to go all, all in on God. We've been called to. And what that means is that we give ourselves over to him entirely in praise, in thankful, joyful praise. We pray. And we're dedicated to worship. And then we have to pour ourselves out in his service. We have to love, especially, as the high point of that and the animating force uh, of, of, all of, our, of all of our Christian service. So... This is, what, this is what it is, and today, just the simple encouragement, time and time again, whether it's the passage, uh, the saints, this time of the year, uh, the, the end of the liturgical year, and so on and so forth, it's to go all in on God, commit ourselves today totally to Him, and to live for His purposes.